I do know what you're saying. Bob? Oh, it's sec my second day up on the Stubai Glacier. Today um, I'm shooting with a young Norwegian kid, Marcus Cleverland. He's 16, um, sort of just getting his feet in the industry. He's, he's had a reputation the last couple of years. He's, he's very technical, uh, spins a lot, does a lot of flips, a lot of uh, really cutting edge tricks. Last week up here he did one of the highest technical tricks so far to date. There's only, he's only the third guy in the world to do it, a quad cork. Um, he's not doing them today. I haven't shot with him very much in the past, so it's, um, you know, it's like, he's a Volcom rider, so I'll be shooting with him in the future, and it's good to build up uh, a relationship. It takes a bit of time to build up a relationship between a photographer and an athlete, so you know what they're doing, you've got trust in each other, um, you can communicate easily and, and fast and clearly. And it, it takes a bit of time, but um, that's good. You've got to start somewhere. So I'm walking back up a bit now. I wanted to shoot Marcus on the smaller jump at the bottom, but he can't get any speed for it. I just talked with him. So um, so there's a big line at the left at the bottom waiting for people to go up. So I'm just going to just gonna hike up, actually. It's like just as quick and I uh, need the exercise. Right, so I'm up on the on the flat on the deck of this biggest jump. Um, I've got the fisheye on, 2.8, uh, 15 millimeter, 2.8, and I'm shooting against the sun, so he'll be backlit. So he's flying through here through the sun, basically. So you have to adjust the exposure, obviously, for him. But then the sun becomes this huge, basic, big, huge flare in the background, which can work good. You know, you can overdo it. Obviously, you can make it use that technique too often. I came back over to the side now. Um, <clears throat> it's the angle I like best. It's a good way to show two very different shots. Um, Marcus is doing, a it's called a method, a method air. It's uh, just a straight air, no spin, no rotation. Um, style trick. I got a good one from up on the deck underneath with the fisheye. And now I'll get one from here. And yeah, you can see the huge difference in these two photos, even though it's the same trick and the same jump. Massive difference to the, I don't know, at first glance you probably wouldn't even realize it's the same thing, the same uh, place even. So it's, it's a good way to show what moving to different spots, different angles can do, different perspectives. <laughs> 